talking today with the Kemper Girls Distance Medley team down here at the state track meet uh, opening uh, day, uh, opening event, I should say, on this Friday morning. And we're going to start off with Maddie Wendell, who started things off today. Maddie, how'd you get out of the blocks? Uh, I thought it came out of the blocks pretty fast, and I ran a good two. It kind of felt like a longer. 100 since we're on lane 8. Where did you feel like you were strongest? Was it right away or did you get stronger as you ran? Uh, definitely right away. When I pop out of the blocks, I always feel fast. And I tried to maintain it. I thought I did a pretty good job that time. Did you have a lot left at the end? Yeah, actually. It didn't feel as tiring as I remembered it last year, but it still gets you. <laughs> Do you use some of the experience from last year to kind of help maybe you settle those nerves a little? Yeah, I felt more comfortable this time. Just I feel like I'm four by eight yesterday. How different is it running early in the morning like this compared to being kind of up all day and then getting to kind of run? Well, it's kind of nice having it in the morning just to get it out of the way, but it's a little bit more tiring to wake up. What did you see from the rest of the girls today? Uh, it felt good with them. A good last run. <laughs> Gilbert, Bella. You got the one senior on the group standing to your right. Yep. You got a hand off to her today. How'd that hand off go? Our hand off was actually really good. We felt pretty proud of it just because we've been Solo practicing it. Schaefer, Have you guys had any issues with handoffs this year? Oh, we did at districts. It was a really bad handoff, so we got a bad time coming in. But. We improved on it. <laughs> and, and that's what matters, right? Yep. What are you looking forward to the rest of the state track meet? Uh, watching my teammate Gilbert. run. <laughs> Again, hopefully doing good. Well, I tell you what, Maddie, appreciate you joining us. Congratulations on getting back. Thank you. Let's move over now to the senior in this group, Katie Tegas, the young lady that said no interview before the race today. So, Katie, uh, how did it feel today? Maddie said you guys had a good handoff. How did you feel coming out of that corner? Felt really good, but being late eight, it was a little tough. You know, I couldn't necessarily see where the other girls were unless they passed me, but I think, I think Maddie's handoff was really good, so it helped me get a good start on my team. When did you sense anybody coming up on you coming out of that corner? Uh, about the last 50, I saw the girl in lane four or five. Um, that's when I saw her out of the corner of my eye. I knew I had to keep getting here, and I had Kaylee at the end waiting for me, so I knew I had to finish. Did you feel like you finished strong? I thought I finished pretty well today. Uh, Paige was also on the side uh, cheering me on and helped me finish, so that helped a lot. Talk about being down here as a senior. What does this mean to you? It's probably one of the most exciting things to get down here senior year. You know, volleyball was really close to state and same with basketball, so to finally make state senior year was awesome. And coming back to the distance medley again was <laughs> Now, I know these girls all have experience down here, but uh, do you leave them with any advice? Keep making it stay. Keep running hard, I guess. What are you looking forward to watching or seeing any specific event the rest of the way? Uh, I'm excited to hear about our girls 4x4 and just seeing where all these other distance medley teams are, you know, from other classes. That's always interesting to see. Well, Katie, appreciate you joining us. Congratulations Thank on getting you. back. Let's move on now to Kaylee Peter, who ran the 400 today. How'd you feel like the start went for you? Uh, really slow, actually. Uh, the cut was really when I realized I'd pick it up. So, yeah. About the straightaway or so, were you feeling pretty good on that back straight? Um, I knew I tried if I wanted to get Paige in a good position, I had to really work out there. So I really tried to pass them, or at least some people that were close. What's your strategy in the 400 in this race? Uh, just run. <laughs> just run? You don't... You don't have a specific, you know, start off with a, a fast and then slow and then fast or nothing, just go no, run. I just run. You try to sprint as much of it as you can? Um, I try to mostly do the first 100 and the last 100 for sure, but the middle two. Uh, that's the it goes. So, a freshman down here, how unique is this atmosphere for you? Um, it's a lot going on. I, mean, I just hope that I get down the next two years to yeah. I know it's the first event of the day, so what are you going to do the rest of the day here? Um, I have a 4x4 four four today, so probably should have been chill out. And it will be Gilbert, and they will be your new leader. Well, I tell you what, good luck in that 4x4. Four four. We'll talk to you afterwards. All right, thank you. Kaylee, Peter, now let's come over to the lady that ran the 800 today, Paige Overmall. And Paige, how did you feel today? That first lap looked really strong. Uh, yeah, in coming in, I felt pretty good uh, before, and I thought I ran the race well. I mean, I don't know what my split was, but I felt pretty good running it. So. Where did you feel like you were at your best? Was it early on, or, or was it kind of later in the race? Definitely earlier, because I think I went out a lot faster, and I felt confident being in second, kind of in that back stretch coming around the first lap, so that's where I thought I felt my strongest, so... 
Did you hear yourself over the PA? Yeah, they, they announced your name a couple of times. You noticed that at all while you're running? Stretch, I did. They like paved over all. She ran this eight last year in the race, so I think that's kind of cool. It gives us the recognition that we deserve. Yeah, absolutely. What's it like to be a part of a team that makes it down twice in a year? Uh, that's awesome. I mean, we barely got it in 24. Just so happy that we were able to come down here in the first place. And then just the experience and stuff with everyone is so much fun. So. Now you got to tell all the listeners, what are the girls behind us doing right now? Because I can feel moving behind me. Well, I think they're pretty nervous during their interviews, and they're trying to make me ten times more nervous and <laughs> say stupid stuff, but... Is it working? Not working. I'm a veteran, Jeff. I know you are. I know you are. Well, I appreciate that veteranness, and thanks very much. Congrats on today. Thank you.